Good morning. I am going to Target real quick because I need to get some prompts for some videos I need to film for some UGC content for brands and for some campaigns. So I figured I will take you guys along with me. And also, I came to a realization that I really truly am a basic bitch and I'm gonna get a Stanley Cup. So. So I have this new addiction with a iced tiramisu latte from Foxtrot. So let's go get one because it's amazing. Also, yes, I'm wearing long sleeves. I'm a psychopath, but this is a crop top from Naked Wardrobe and I've been absolutely loving their stuff because it is European and it is long enough for me and I got my order in. I got a couple pieces, so I will show you when we get back home. Not take my camera in Target because they're always so weird and I just wanted to be quick in and out but I got my Stanley Cup why is it so dark I got one that is like a limited edition oh here it's better I got one that is a limited edition with heart in hand and I absolutely love this color amazing had to make a pit stop in and out because I'm starving and on the way to get the coffee but as I've been gluten free and you don't have gluten free buns we're having a lettuce wrap uh, let's see how that is because I have no idea if that's even a vibe or not also I have no idea if it's going to be really messy to eat mm. so good get that protein baby all right I got my tiramisu latte that I'm obsessed with. I can simply not get enough of these. I was debating on getting groceries, but I think I'm just gonna make mochi pancakes for dinner and just do groceries another time. I just don't feel like it. There's so much other stuff I need to do, so I'm just gonna roll. Just ate a burger, so I got my protein in anyway. So we're gonna do a breakfast for dinner. So I figured to show you, I have been filming a campaign and this is the setup, which obviously is not what it looks like on camera, but that's sometimes the reality of things if you need a certain shot and yeah. So I have not lime washed my office yet. That will happen soon. Let me show you the naked wardrobe stuff I ordered. So one of the items I got was this sweater. I'm a sucker for sweater. Got it in a size large, just so it's extra oversized. Cannot wait to wear it. I will also I will also link everything below again with these trousers, and they're so so stunning. It's like crocodile leather type of pants. And the cool thing about these is that they're actually long enough for me, which is rare because I'm 5'10 so if you're also on a taller side or you just have very long legs compared to your torso highly recommend shopping at Naked Wardrobe because I feel like everything is a good length these trousers they're like kind of like linen trousers with like denim stripes they're not the same as the top it's from a different collection but these are so comfortable just with like a white crop top and just super comfy and the back is open and it's absolutely the prettiest thing ever i will show a picture right here because i don't want to open it until i wear it because i suck with anything white like i literally ruin anything that's white so i'm too afraid to open it up and then this top as well which is honestly one of my favorite new items now i also got a few pr packages in and apparently it's gonna be avocado day so kill sim just Super cute. It says slice it open before it's ripe and then you open it up and then it's avocado. And it's the cutest thing and I absolutely love their avocado mask. So that's amazing. She has been on one today. I don't know what is going on, but she has been in a wild mode. I just got done with therapy, which is always so intense. I've just been cry crying my uh, makeup off. So I started therapy again and it's just, I just, it's so important. Like, I feel like everyone can benefit from therapy. There's no too much therapy in my opinion. Like, I feel like 
everyone could use it and it's just so important to have someone professional that you can talk to and I know this is gonna be really good for me to pick it back up again and I'm trying out the new therapist and so far it's been really good also almost empty I cannot get enough of the pro collagen cleansing balm from Elemis it's really been my favorite for years it's just always a good way to double cleanse with especially when you wear makeup so have a relaxing night and then what I also do is like after this I'm gonna take a bath and I'm very weird but I love to edit my campaigns and everything in the bathtub I don't know why maybe it's because I can concentrate better nothing is distracting me I just feel like that always it's just something I do and so yeah I am just like kind of prepping myself to take a bath this is also a cleanser I absolutely love it's the ocean cleansing milk from osha i find i love this better than the the normal cleanser they have because that's just too strong for my sensitive skin and this just like really melts away anything plus you can mix it with stuff so i also have their exfoliator that i love that i also mix mix um the exfoliator with this and it's super nice so yeah i always use this for a double cleansing and as I showed earlier that Kiel sent me their avocado mask, I absolutely love his mask and I haven't had it in a while so I'm really excited. So I'm going to put this on, make some dinner and then after I'm going to take a bath and just like edit my life away. Some balance in work and life, work life and personal life because like obviously being, being in the influencer industry it's kind of hard to put it off because you're kind of always there's always something you should be doing or always something that could be done and so yeah that's just something that i have been trying to balance out but for now we're just doing the editing in the bathtub kind of thing there's honestly nothing better than a brand new product especially when it's in the jar We're just gonna put it on with my finger. I know this is gross. I usually don't do this, but I uh, all my scoopers are upstairs. I don't know if you have two bathrooms. We upstairs have the bathtub, and downstairs we don't. And it kind of feels like jelly. I forgot that this. The, it's a really weird really weird texture but we have a bathtub upstairs so i have a lot of my stuff upstairs because that bathroom is also next to my office so i have like makeup there and whatnot and downstairs is our walk-in shower and everything is upstairs right now so we're just winging it doing it with the hand now there's a real question when you put a face mask on do you put it on your forehead as well? Because I feel like so many people don't. And I have to be honest, I sometimes don't either, especially when my bangs are down or, you know, if I'm not wearing this thing. But, gotta not forget the forehead. But yeah, so I'm gonna leave this on for a bit and then. All right, gonna leave this on for a bit. All right, I'm going to do some editing and I see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching.